This is the engine to a 1924 Citroën 5 HP, or sans cache pay as the French call it, I'm working on now. And here is the transmission and clutch housing. This is the uh, transmission brake, the transmission, and the clutch housing. On this car, the transmission, uh, the shafts penetrate the sides and it has a tendency to drip oil. So I would thought this I thought this would be a good time to experiment with corn head grease, which is to say John Deere corn head grease, which is used in uh, corn head machines, which uh, farmers use to pick the corn, it cuts the stalks and removes the uh, ears of corn and so on. And uh, the oil has a tendency to leak from those machines, so John Deere invented this uh, grease for it. It's a, uh, a thixotropic grease, a fluid that has a tendency to remain thick. As you can see, it doesn't run at all, except when agitated, and it uh, loses viscosity and becomes more like an oil. I thought I would try it in this transmission and see what happens. And uh, we'll do a little experiment and you can watch with me. Okay, I have the grease in there and I can, I can just crank uh, the drive shaft here by just turning the, one of the brake drum bolts here. And let's see what, the, what it looks like when it turns. to uh, lose consistency and liquefy pretty well. The gear teeth uh, are seem well lubricated. It, the grease doesn't channel, which is to say it doesn't... The gears don't push the uh, grease aside and then go dry. Uh, the question is, will the uh, ball bearings on either end get lubricated? And uh, there is some uh, grease up on those. So I think they might be. And it's not, the grease doesn't shoot around when I turn the, when I turn the shaft, it doesn't shoot around. So it seems like it's working okay. It's certainly not leaking. The question is, will this provide enough uh, lubrication for the transmission?